booktube and today I'm going to do a tag bookshelf scavenger hunt tag and I'm going to try and restrict myself to books that are in my lounge room. I'm going to be reading the questions off my phone because I haven't reread them so here we go. The first one is an author's name or title with a z letter Z in it. Uh, I don't think I've got one here but I definitely have one on the other side of my lounge. So I've got the books by Mark Z. Danielski, so the Z's even by itself, and this is the fourth book in the Familiars series, and it's Hades, our Hades. Next is a classic, and that's easy here. We've got a classic sci-fi, which is Isaac Asimov's Foundation's Edge in hardback. Next is a book with a key on it. This one might be a bit difficult. Oh, a book with a key on it. I'm cheating a little, it's on this edge, but it's definitely got a key in it. And that is Sally Gr um, Gardner's my Side Diamond. Next is something on my bookshelf that is not a book. That is... There's two things up here. I'm halfway through making a dragon. As you can see, it's got little tags coming out of it, but it's got a very cute little tooth happening. And... This is my light box that I got in Disneyland earlier, uh, late last year, and that's of Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, the oldest book on my shelf. Um, Never Ending Story by Michael End, 1983. Next one is Find a Book with a Girl on the cover. That shouldn't be too hard. Ganymede by Sherry Priest, the third in the Bone Shaker trilogy. Next is uh, Find a Book with an Animal on the cover. Margaret Atwood's The Year of the Flood, and it's got a sheep. Next is a book with a male protagonist. That is The Big Book of Tashi, Tashi being male, uh, by Anne and Barbara Feinberg and Kim Gable. Next is Find a Book with Only Words on the Cover. Does that count? Maybe? City of Bones? If I don't find a better one, we're going with that one. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Ooh, much better. The Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. That one's much better. Uh, find a book with illustrations in it. Wonderstruck by, oh, I could have used the Z one, Brian Selznick. So, lots of illustrations in these ones. Next we have Find a Book with Gold Lettering. Gonna go to my other shelf. We've got Across the Nightingale Floor by Leon Hearn. It's from the first book from the uh, Tales of the Atori. A diary or a true, true or fictional other shelf. So we've got A Fortunate Life by Albert Facey. This is a really a famous Australian book of his time. Albert Facey, well, A.B. Facey, I know it's Albert. Um, my grandmother actually lived in his house as a child when it was given out to people who needed houses during the war. Find a book written by someone with a common name, like Smith. Common... Anne. Three here. Anne's really common. We got a better one. Margaret. Margaret. I have a, a, an aunt who is Margaret Anne. So, common. C. 
Sarah. Sarah Waters, Sarah J Mass, Sarah. Sarah. So they were Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass, the first in the Throne of Glass books, and Tipping Velvet by Sarah Waters. Find a book that has a close up of something on it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lani Taylor, and it has a close up of feathers. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. I'm going to go with Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire because this happens during the time when uh, Holland first, very first, starts getting tulips uh, imported in. So I th I'm not entirely sure when that is, but I think that's earlier than anything else on my shelf. Find a hardcover without a jacket. Luminous Chaos. Uh, Jean, Jean Christophe Valent, The Mysteries of New Venice. No jacket. Find a teal or turquoise coloured book. Pretty sure that that is teal? Turquoise. I'm always bad with that one, but I think that's what the colour's meant to be. And that's the fabulous boat, it's the fabulous river boat by Philip Jose Farmer. Find a book with stars on it. Isaac Asimov's The Choice of Catastrophes. The disasters that threaten our world. So non-fiction. Who would have thunk it? I have non-fiction on my shelf. A non-YA book. Take your pick. any of the Margaret Atwood ones for a start, but Tad Williams' The Dragon Bone Chair. And I didn't even get into my graphic novels. Go figure. So that was my bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. Hope hopefully I'm framed okay because I can't see what I'm doing. So Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time on Aussie SFF. Happy reading.